welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate the cloud shell i already make a video on this lab but in my previous version of this lab the lab of uh, the name of the lab is uh, cloud manager now it's blue xp and everything is same in this lab okay so first of all just come on the task number one copy the first command run over here then copy the second command and run over here then click on authorize now I will try to make it this lab as simple as possible and try to explain you where might you face the issues. Okay, so now just wait to until this command get executed. Meanwhile, copy the third command of the task number one. And run over here. Now if you just simply click on check my progress. Do not worry about uh, if you not get a score because it take time to update a score. Okay. Meanwhile, you can do one thing: search for the VM instance, open this thing in new tab. Now click on this external IP. Click on this advanced option, then click on proceed. Just wait for a second and then click on sign up. Now copy the username, paste over here for the password, copy the password, paste over here, company name Google, full name Quick Lab, click on this I accept and sign up. Just wait for a second and it's been done. Now simply give the type user users for the thing and simply click on let's start. Just uh, now it's going to take couple of minutes so just wait for here. Now it's finally done. Click on let's go with the blue XP. And I will recommend you now no need to worry about the lab instruction. I am going to explain you each and everything. Okay, just for the confirmation, click on the check my progress for both the tasks. Okay. Now I simply click on continue, then click on this gear icon, then click on this connector setting. And I will recommend you to just follow the way I am doing this lab because I will going to show you the easy and simple way click on save now it will be off 
okay now click on this blue xp now click on this add environment from here choose google cloud click on this single node and click on next now here you can see if this uh, loading uh, icon is taking more than five minutes so just close the lab and again restart it it might take around 30 to 40 seconds to establish a connection as you can see if it's taking more than five minutes so you need to just restart the lab okay now for the cluster name just type cluster one cluster one okay for the password copy this password paste over here for here paste over here like this now simply click on continue now no need to make any changes over here simply click on continue now the zone must be us central one a like this and now click on this check my pro check box click on continue from here choose the premium click on continue now click on this change configurations from here click on change version click here and choose the last version 9.7 click on that click on apply from here choose this uh, n1 high main 4 now simply click on continue now i will request you to please guys pay attention over here from from this task just click on this ssd click on 100 gb now click on continue now from here please pay attention guys okay click on continue and now you, uh, you will get the option called create volume okay so now just come on the task number three simply come on the task number three copy this name called data one paste the name over here for the size type 10 no need to make any other changes no need to make any other changes simply click on continue okay no need to make any changes simply click on continue now from click on this check my progress and this and now click on go now this thing is going to take around 10 to 15 minutes so just patiently wait for that do not rush on the task number four otherwise the lab thought you are doing some malicious activity and lab will be uh, ended automatically because of that algorithms okay so here i just explain and i just merge task number two and task number three at one so that you don't need to worry about the task number three and it won't take more time to complete this lab okay so now just wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes and it will be done
so it's finally done done now simply click on this premium and click on this enter working environment okay so now here you can see the volume is already created for us this which we already create on the task number 2 okay right now simply click on check my progress for the task number 2 okay all the things we already done now simply come on the dashboard click copy this command of the task number 4 and run over here now it is going to take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and now from here just please pay attention okay and this is the last task i know uh, most of the guys might face the issue over here also so yeah it's done now so come on the vm instance click on this refresh if the refresh button is not available for you just refresh from here now in the linux vm click on this ssh Okay, so it's establishing the connection so just wait for a second so it's done let me just increase the text size okay okay now just copy this first command run over here then copy the second command and run over here okay just wait for this command to get executed meanwhile you can do one thing go to your uh, net app and then click on this if you just hover over here you will get this uh, hamburger icon click on that then click on this mount command okay just wait for a second and you will get a one command to copy okay meanwhile just check here so it's done okay let me just clear this out okay now copy this command and please pay attention guys okay copy this command come over here first of all just type sudo s u d o then paste that command now here we have to just change this dest underscore d i i r so what the change we have to make just copy this mnt slash data one copy that and just make the change over here please make sure there is an extra space over here let me just show you as you can see there is an extra space okay now just hit enter once you hit enter so it's been done now simply click on check my progress so you are done with the task number four also if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys i try to make it as simple as possible thanks for watching and have a good day guys